off the cuff and short for time with WAPTEC here. I'm going to do this vid as best I can. Here we go. Someone asks, when it's cold out and you're doing and you're doing back-to-back -back videos, do you like to use a Coleman propane stove, folding sterno stove, or hit to eat your hot chocolate piece? Love and happiness. None. I used to do alcohol stoves and I used to make them for people and I even made little kits because at the time you could get a uh, beef stew can that was exactly the right size to cook a meal pattern as we called it. It's a set of meals that you would do very efficiently and not waste any water and it would warm you up and it would be really good and it would make sure that you did not produce carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide excessively in a tent. I don't do that anymore. Heat damages tents because they're mostly made out of polyester and whatever. Number one. Number two. I eat before I go up. That way I don't have to relieve myself when I'm in the woods. Not having to do, you know, taking care of the little bits and pieces of my life is much easier. I just make sure I don't have anything to uh, expel. Now why am I bringing this up? The multiple things for maintenance when you are homeless are the same as when you are a prepper. And even military people reference this. If you do not have to do something that puts you in a compromising condition, you're better off. When you have to live in a tent or you're homeless, the last thing on earth you want to deal with is your digestive system or bladder doing something inconvenient. Being horribly sick recently brought this up because it doesn't matter what I did, I was going to be sick wherever it would happen. It's the most debilitating and defeating thing you can go through to have your body basically turn on you because it has no choice it's trying to get rid of a disease or infection and it takes away your ability to even stand up and it becomes a problem because now if it's really really cold you know something that will conduct heat away from you and you're now dehydrated and you get the idea and that's the next step not having to do anything when I'm not sick make sure I don't get sick I still clean myself. Obviously, you have to or you're going to get sick. I have to take care of the bits and pieces while I'm dealing with this. So, it's a very good idea to reduce the number of times a week or a day I have to do anything. Or at least make it to where I can time it. I can almost time my life by it. As the joke goes in the military, you should be able to set your watch by it. So next, um, on a video I did of the 1974 non-human paracaris skull in my, uh, mitochondria DNA test, uh, collective evolution, ancient origins, and Facebook BS talking about it. Uh, someone posted a comment on this. I'm going to bring up a couple of things, but here we go. Uh, no, that was not actually something that would work, and yes, the analysis was done to sell books and, and, and TV show you know, uh, visits and that sort of thing. <clears throat> Next, someone says, most of our DNA is exactly the same as the banana. No, it's not. Is that effort real or is it BS? No. Most of the DNA chains can be found as duplicated in other creatures. You would expect that. DNA sequences aren't literally totally unique within a short duration. And some protein sequences are duplicated. Humans don't produce vitamin C. Other life forms do. We lost the ability to do that at one point. Changed out for being bald, I guess. Uh, but anyway, look how many species have gone extinct. Why wouldn't a species of human be under the same threat? true. The other thing is, <coughs> I have to point out, we chimpanzees and bonobos are probably related to uh, some common ancestor for a weird reason. We have one fewer chromosomes than, let's say, or chromosome pairs, than, let's say, a chimpanzee, and one of our chromosomes has an end piece that looks like the ends of the chimpanzee's one, but it's stuck together. Now, this is something that isn't just a coincidence. It does indicate that we're freaks were a mutation, and that kind of mutation happens all the time when a virus or, or even gamma rays hit DNA chains. It reduces the number of chromosomes. Contrary to a tool song, you don't increase, you decrease possibly. Anyway, I just thought it was an interesting set of subjects. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and good luck with that.